Hey y'all, okay, I just cut my hair, um, I guess about like three days ago, so this is the actual length, I kind of curled it a little bit, and I pretty much just cut my perm out, that's what I did, so all this is not perm, and maybe like that much is still permed, so it's a pretty good amount. I just didn't want to get it shorter than this. So this is this. I'm just trying to let y'all see. And I saw somebody comment about um, trying to wrap their hair and saying that it was good, but they have shorter hair. And they said the video was still good about learning how to wrap your hair better. But I just wanted to show y'all with, you know, short hair since I cut it. Um, the same technique, just it might be a little bit easier and as you see like my ends are already curled so this is gonna help to wrap my hair a little bit easier all this is curled okay you're gonna need either a comb or you can use bobby pins I use this kind or whatever the goodie bobby pins or you can use the banana clips. If your hair is just like freshly cut, I would suggest that you use, um, I guess bobby pins because they'll hold it better instead of the banana clamps. But I like working with the banana clamps because they're so big. So it's just like clamp, clamp, and then you're done. Or you can use a wrap brush, uh, a weed brush, sorry. Okay, um, I'm gonna go on and comb it out okay it's kind of like the opposite on this camera because I'm doing it on a MacBook and you're gonna do like I did in the other video you're gonna take a section comb it and then swoop it over like this and to me I found it easier if you curl the ends first then it's easier to do it as far as the wrapping because if it's freshly like just cut and straighten it's a little bit harder so once again you're going to take this a little bit and you can part it you know perfect then I mean I don't really care because to me, it still comes out the same. You just swoop it over. It might help if you have a brush, but y'all know I don't like really using brushes. And I'm just taking the more in the back that's still out, combing that. And wrapping it over and then just taking the rest all the way around the tighter you do it the better it'll be because you see this one's like kind of loose a little bit And if your hair is like just cut, I would just take it and just, you know, place them like that all the way around to make sure like mainly like right here and stuff. Like the, the main parts that you know that are about to fall. And I would just place it like that and then put the scarf on. You can see that in one of my other videos or whatever. But, um, it's hard looking at this and then seeing where the thing goes. <laughs> Alright. Or, I'm going to show you another one with the bobby pins. And you have the bobby pins. This one's kind of open. 
and you kind of want one that's like see that's another open one you don't want them like that see that you kind of want it squinched down to where it's just like and it's just like that where it's like squeezed to make sure it's like it's easier to just put on I guess that one's a better one you want them like that and with this like if your hair is like falling just go all the way around that's what might be like the only way you can secure it but that works and use a silk scarf now my hair is like since I just got it cut it kind of falls out in the back because this is the type of scarf I have gonna go on a crisscross them in the back which means put them on the other opposite side and I have like a little hole I don't know if y'all can see that in the back so I kind of like spread the one that's on top more a little bit and bring it around and I just kind of you know sweep my hand over it just to make sure all of it's, you know, pre pretty even on. I just tie it. And I just tuck them in. And that's pretty much like that. And if it's if you like are self conscious about the little hole in the back, you can just flip it and just like either just like roll it and clamp it or I'll clamp it with a bobby pin and like pretty much it'll stay. But I mean, um, I really just don't worry about it and I'm like a heavy sleeper. But tell me what you think about my haircut and once again I was just cutting it just to cut out the perm and everything so um i really do miss my length but hopefully it'll grow back and i'm trying not to use a lot of heat to it since i just cut it but it's kind of like if you curl the ends a little bit or just have the little curve i think it'll make it easier to wrap your hair to me because it already has that little little body to it but, um, I think that's it. Sorry about my last video with the volume and stuff and the sound. It really wasn't working too good. And I'm going to try to make other videos for short hair. Because I know the other ones, like, were long hair. But if your hair is, like, up here and not here with that extra length, it's kind of difficult, you know, to make different hairstyles. So, stay tuned to that. And this is my makeup for today tell me what y'all think about that or if y'all want to do a video and I put mascara on if y'all can tell these aren't fake eyelashes and the bottom ones are pretty long too I don't know but yep that's the makeup for today too so if y'all want me to do a video on that I could but please comment subscribe you know let me know what y'all want to see next. Thanks for subscribing me for my subscribers already. And that's pretty much it. Thanks. Bye.